um, and we're two uh, students from College of Science School. Uh, our goal by the end of the uh, presentation is that we will convince you, the Kerry ECB Board of Management, uh, to adopt a fiduciary policy uh, to ensure greater equality for farmers in uh, so-called developing countries. Okay, so um, Fair Trade Ireland. Um, Fair Trade Ireland was established as a means to ensure equal pay to farmers for their products in developing countries. Um, the Fair Trade logo um, is seen on hundreds of products. Um, for example, uh, you might have noticed you might have noticed this on um, the Cadbury's chocolate bars, you know, like in the bottom corner. But, but it is on hundreds of products. <coughs> hundreds of products. Excuse me. Um, but unfortunately, not all companies qualify for the fair trade mark. Many companies operate by very unfair methods or practices. Unfair tra trade is a common practice in many developing countries. It, it involves forced labour and, in many cases, child labour. These people are subject to full working conditions. Farmers are unfairly paid because of this, and they are often forced to work in unsafe practices, which has a negative impact on the environment. On the following screen, you can see the coffee distribution, and as you can see, there is a lot of people that the coffee goes through before it actually reaches the supermarket. Um, so, for fair trade, for non fair trade bag of coffee, how much do you think? each person gets out of a euro that is uh, sold. Now, we were shocked when we discovered the following figures. So, as you can see, you can see the harsh reality of the distribution of the income from the sale of just a simple bag of coffee. Um, the people who work the hardest for the longest period of time get paid the least. And it's crazy. <coughs> um, an extra eight cents could go a long way in improving the quality of life for, for a farmer if he or she was given. Um, can you see any fairness in this? I'm not going to answer that. But, uh, <laughs> Fair trade coffee moves a larger percent of the profit to the farmers and workers. Fair trade has a much fairer system. So, what is fair trade? Fair trade is not just about the money. Well, fair trade is a group that makes sure workers from developing countries receive a decent wage. It also ensures good working conditions. Fair trade also makes sure that only adults are working uh, instead of the, ch the children because in non-fair trade farms, children, women and uh, uh, men are made to work whereas with fair trade only, only the adults are allowed to work. Uh, it also helps villages in developing countries to live independently without needing charity or handouts. Fair trade looks after the environment. Farmers are paid fairly, so they don't need to use harmful chemicals to grow more crops faster. There are hundreds of fair trade products available, <coughs> available in stores. Um, if we all just made, if we, if we all simply made just one fair trade purchase, we would be making a real difference to lives in, in developing countries. In 2013 and 2014, Ms. Patricia McGrath's CSP second year class began a project on the fair trade importing the one world Perry Centre to visit. This project culminated in Causa Comprehensive School Staff Room beginning to use the fair trade tea and coffee system. We, the T World Group of 2014 and 2015, have taken on the project and are now proposing that Kerry Education and Training Board's head office would make the same decision to per purchase only fair trade tea and coffee in their head office. We believe it is easier for an office to start a fair trade journey with products like tea and coffee, but, uh, then it can go from there on to chocolate, 
and many other fair trade products. <laughs> There's two facts about fair trade. Agricultural workers in the tea coffee industry often work in what has been described as sweatshops in different fields. Uh, many small tea uh, and coffee farmers receive prices for their tea and coffee that are less than what the costs are to produce. Fact! Fair trade tea and coffee means livable wages, community development, health and education. To become, a, to become fair trade certified, an importer must meet a strict international criteria, which includes paying a minimum price per kilo, providing much, much needed credit to farmers, and providing technical assistance, such as help transitioning to organic farming. Factors affecting your decision. We realise that fair trade products are often more expensive than non-fair trade. This is to make sure that everyone is paid a good wage for the work they do. If you want to establish fair trade at Kerry TB head office, you, the board of management of the Kerry TB, must first adopt a fair trade policy. We hope that you will seriously consider this proposal.